Hey guys, welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. As you can see on the screen, Titans Panarin is on the squad. Am I mentally okay? No, I'm not. Are you? No, you're not. I know the answer to that question because the challenge is a little difficult, right? We're going to talk about the challenges. I'll show you some clips, show you how I got it done. And of course... We got uh, we to gotta hop into a game. We got to give this guy a debut here on the channel. Now, the issue I always have on Panarin cards, and I talked about it yesterday. Six foot nothing, which is okay, but it's the 175 that just usually bothers me because he does get knocked off the puck a little too easily. If you did the challenges, you probably saw that. Probably saw half his energy drain too when he'd get knocked off the puck. Very annoying. But we take a look at the attributes. He is a good looking card. He's got playmaking forward, so plus two agility, offensive awareness, passing, plus one on the puck control. He's got one T as a zone ability. You gotta love one timers in this game. Skating really good, 95 on the agility, holy. 90 acceleration, 91 speed, really good shot. 91 on the accuracy, 85, 84 for the power. His hands elite. Nothing but 93 and up on that. Checking defense, maybe a little lower, but he's got an 85 on the awareness. Now, I don't know how you guys run your team, but how I operate mine, you can't just hop on the team and be on line one. You got to earn your stripes, all right? So if Panarin comes out here, he plays well, he'll probably eventually move up to the line one. But a guy just can't make the team, and he's on line one, star player. You know what I'm saying? So he will start on the line two, which is a really exciting line. We got Panarin, McKinnon. And Marlowe. Line one looking as though Nylander, Matthews, Jack Hughes. Line three, line four, the defense looking as so. I did Bill Chara. Only an 83, but that's a big body out there. And then for the goalie, I literally just put Kemper in. He should be good. Now let's talk about the hut moments. Let me know in the comments section. Was it easy? It was easy, right? <laughs> so first thing I do have to point out the timer. Only six more days to do this. So if you don't do it in the six days, you will miss out on a free 86 overall Panarin. So yes, if you do all of these, you see the rewards there, the Titan Panarin collectibles. That adds up to 25, and then you can trade in the 25 for the Panarin. Now, the one everybody is struggling with will be this one right here. Three top shelf goals with Panarin. Now, you only have five minutes to do it. You hop into this moment in the third period, the very beginning of it. It's a five-minute period. It's on pro. Now, I'm not saying getting three goals is hard in the period, but getting three top-shelf goals, very uh, it could be very annoying. Started with this one, but let's start at the top. Let's go over everything. So, three deeks with Panarin. That's very easy. After you get the three deeks, you have to wait till a whistle. Once you get a whistle, you can get the hell out of there. The next one, make perfect one-time shot attempts. This one, three of them. You guys know how to do that. Score bottom right corner goals with Panarin. Only one of them in this one. It is on semi-pro. You should be able to blow right past the defenseman and just score bottom right. After that, you have to score two goals in one period. This is only a three-minute period. After that, you have to do three perfect one-timer shots with Panarin. Again, pretty easy on that one. After you're done with it, you can get the hell out of there. After that, you have to score two one-timer goals with Panarin. And the one-timer is really easy, by the way, because one-timers in this game, just way, way too good. And then after that, this is the one we're going to spend maybe a little more time on. A lot of you guys probably breezed through those, but then you <laughs> you hit power overwhelming. And it's, uh yeah, it's a little overwhelming. And it's annoying because I thought I could take advantage of maybe some empty net opportunities, but I cannot get the puck top shelf. When there's an empty net... I don't know what it is, man. It, it it doesn't go any higher than that. It's really annoying, and guess what? That is not a top shelf goal. The thing on this clip, you know, I just drill it, and it's just it's not high enough. I even go to the replay after. I'm like, what do you mean? It's not. It's not high enough. Take a look at another one. What do we got this one? I saved a bunch of clips. I was getting pissed. Yeah, that one just didn't get it high enough. It's just weird because I always just I feel like I'm always aiming up there. There was another one, right? I score. But it's not high enough. I'm aiming up there with the... I, I, now, some ways I was able to score. I like getting it with Miller right here. You set up Panarin over there. Bam. You slam it top shelf. I actually got credit for that one. You can test out the one-timers. One-timer is very good in this game. A little too good. And you're going to score on some. But my issue was I kept not getting credit. So let's take another look here. This is my move. I know I can score on this move. I'm very good at this move, so I want Panarin on the right side, and I'm just going to do a little fake, put it top shelf. 
We'll take another look here. This is going to be a different attempt. But I'm telling you, once I started doing this, I started getting two every time. And then I finally broke through and got that third one. Here we go. So this is the attempt where I got all three finally. So this is how it's going to happen. Panarin gets knocked off the puck, of course. But we go right back to him. And I find myself in that spot that I was just showing you. So we drill that immediately. Now I'm going to show you this clip. I'm really just... I don't want to player lock on Panarin. But I do want to control him because me not skating at all when I am controlling him, I am getting that energy bar back up. I'm just trying to give him the puck here so I can go. I want to blow past 74 in which he does. And guess what? He drills it again. That is number two out of three. And I have a whole lot of time to get number three. Yeah, I have a whole lot of time. But what you're going to want to do, check this out. Look at, look at all the time. Look at all the time going. You want to keep this game close. The reason being... I had to go to overtime to get this done. So we go to overtime. Look at the timer. Look at the timer. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. But if you keep it a close game, keep it tied, you can get another chance in OT. And that's what's going to happen here. You have so much more room. So once you once you finally get the puck, you can just skate. Look at this. And Panarin's so much faster than everybody. It's just going to be about execution here. And Panarin gets it. Number three in overtime. And then for the next one, same thing, keep it close. You want to make sure to have three points with Panarin up until this point. And then you can just finish it off with two points on the empty net. You can shoot it with them or pass it for the assist. Doesn't matter. But that was number four on the empty net. You're going to see me pick up number five. Let them win the face off. Let them get the puck. Let them uh, pull their goalie. And then you can just grab the puck eventually. Eventually. And you can just pass it up the ice and go score. We got to make sure it gets to Panarin, though. There we go. Not a whole lot of time, too. I got a little lucky. There's number five. And then for the last one, again, you can do it in overtime. So, yes, I actually went to overtime. 2-2 two -two hockey game. We just have to win this one. So, we're going to take Fox and do a little one-handed tuck with them. Just nasty on that. So, those are the clips, guys. Maybe even hop in a, a free skate where you're only controlling one guy and practice that move I was showing you. Again, it's just a little... One, two, put a top shelf. That's the move I did. That's the move that worked for me. And that is the move that got me three top shelf goals in one period. An awful time, but it is done. And I have the Titans Panarin. One of the cooler looking cards ever. If we're talking about the card art, I think if we're talking card art, it's the coolest looking card ever. Uh, as far as his attributes and everything, he is going to get knocked off the puck a little too easily. But he is fast. He's got a great shot. I'm excited to try him out. Not bad at all. McCarr, Nylander, they got Pareko. I can't believe we're, t we're facing off against Pareko. If you can build Pareko, please do it. All right, boys, here we go. Let's uh, play some hockey, baby. All right, all right, here we go. Again, Panarin not on the line one. He's got to earn it. He's got to earn it. We got him. Oh, we actually got the pass to him. We just couldn't score it. We get it back. Oh, hey, now. Wah! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got it. We got it. Oh, we went one-handed tug. That was terrible. Hit him. Hooah! Here he is. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice, Char. All right. We got to we gotta be a little better. What are we doing? Hey, now. Whoa! Here we go. Here comes Panarin. Here comes Panarin. Panarin? I don't know what he was doing. He was trying to get saucy with it. Here we go. Panarin. Backhand. No. Woo. Hit him. Oh, my goodness. He's drunk. What am I doing? Hit him, Chara. Get the puck, man. I'm here. I'm here. He didn't want any. Oh, yo. We're slow as hell. What are we doing? Get off the ice. Pareko. Right here. Ooh, Bowen Byram. Goes off the ankle of Johnston. Here we go. Here, baby. We're here. We're all over him. Hit him. Oh, yeah. What the hell was that? Who is that skating? We got super speed. All right, we're going to go to line four here. That makes me a little nervous. He's trying to get a line change in as well. 
Now it's gonna go down for icing. I would, you know, I would rather have the line one with half energy out there, basically. Oh, Hughes! Oh, we, we gotta score that. Oh, I got no power on that shot. That was a terrible shot. You know what? We got the tie up too. We got the tie up. We're gonna do anything with it. Do it again. <laughs> a little wide. A little wide. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice. Take that. Hell yeah. Here we go. Oh, Makar. He's fast, buddy. He's fast. He's fast. Get it over to him. Bang! Nylander. Sounded boys. Oh, baby. We got the line three out there. Line two is too fatigued. Only 15 seconds left here in this period. We got to make sure to close out uh, this period strong. Nothing stupid. Get out there. Oh, big block by Madano. Huge. By the way, you might be wondering, why Why am I still in this arena? You don't have any fans. We haven't worked for anything yet. We haven't won anything. We haven't proved anything. We don't even have a captain on the team yet. There, there's a lot of identity that needs to be found on this team still. So, you know, we're working towards that, guys. We're working towards it. Where am I? Can't switch the damn guy. I'm trying to switch to... Here we go. Nope. Nope. Take it away. Take it away. We, no, take it away. Give me it. Cookies. Cookies. What? Good block. Why can't we grab the fucking puck? Yo. Right here. Ooh. Oh, man. That was nasty. Jack Hughes. Sound it, boys. This nasty Drysdale with an assist. I think Nylander got an assist there, too. Come on, now. Um, our line two is coming out here. Oh, hey, now. All right. Hey, we got a 2-0 lead. Lots of hockey left, though. He went early. That means he's frustrated. Here we go. Uh, Drysdale, you know, we got to be a little better. We got to be a little better than that. Oh, that's Pareko. Panarin on the other side? He doesn't score it. Can he do a Michigan? Oh, no, dude, Pareko's on his ass. Pass it. Drysdale. Great shot. What the hell? That was an axe. I was trying to pin him. <laughs> we, got a, we got a Michigan animation instead. Wow. <laughs> oh, Panarin's there. What the hell? Hit him. No, 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 no. Give it to him. Oh, oh, we tried to deke him. Pareko just too good. He gets it right back. Wait a minute. Now he's off the ice now. We got a line change. I like it. Oh. Get in there. Oh, that's a great shot, though. Right here. Makar. <laughs> It's so silly. He's out of here. Sounded, boys. Ah, uh, he's out of here. Panarin did nothing. No Panarin action in this one, but, you know, we're going to have another game play up. Maybe Panarin scores in the next one, but here today, his first game, we get a victory. We get a quit. Come on now. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. It always helps out the channel, helps out the videos a ton. When you guys do that, drop a comment below. Subscribe if you are new. No action for Panarin. Kind of a... Uh, it was a shorter game for Panarin. Again, I'll try and get another gameplay with him up here today. No points, but a quick quit. Good W by the squad. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.